Okay, in the meantime, let's uh, talk personal finance. Let's go across to Harsh Rungta if he's with us right now. Harsh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, great, Harsh. You know, just wondering, uh, right now in the current scenario with regards to remonetization, when you have most banks actually come down and because of their excessive cash deposits come down and slash their home loan rates, uh, as, uh, you know, someone who is, uh, who has taken a home loan, you get into a bit of a tricky spot because you've got your loan running with an HFC. So at a time like this, what is it that you do? Is it most prudent to run away, uh, you know, move your account from an HFC, go to a bank which is offering you a better home loan rate? What is it that you're, uh, you know, advising to your uh, clients right now? For uh, existing borrowers, I think very clearly uh, if you are on any other basis than an MCLR and the only way that you could be on an existing MCLR is that if you have taken a loan from a bank uh, after 1st April 2016, if you have taken a loan from a bank before 1st April 2016, which means you are on a base rate system or if you have taken a loan from an HFC, I think it makes dramatic sense for you to shift your loan to a bank uh, today. I mean, uh, the dust is yet to settle down on the new rates. I think uh, we will see more action in the coming uh, 15, 20 days or a month. Uh, but very, very clearly, I think uh, uh, we will see a new normal uh, settle anywhere around 8.5 to 8.7%. Uh, uh, for great credits, I mean, you have already seen the announcement from uh, Bank of Baroda for uh, where the civil scores are high. They are talking of a loan as low as 8.35%. Uh, details are still to be seen, but very clearly, I think if you have got a great credit profile, you have had a good uh, credit track record, shifting to a bank makes a lot of sense. Hmm. So Harsh, you're saying for existing borrowers, just stay put with your HFCs wherever your loans are and don't try and clamor and rush to any banks. No, I said I said it makes sense for you to shift. So I, I said okay, exactly okay. the opposite. Uh, but you could wait maybe 15, 20 days for the dust to settle down so that you are uh, aware of what are the uh, best rates. But other than that, it makes sense for you to shift to a bank. Okay, Harsh, unfortunately completely running out of time, but one quick question to you, someone who's looking at uh, maybe taking a new loan, you would say that again, wait down, wait for that uh, dust to settle down, see what is it that HFCs would plan, whether or not they also would come back with a comeback offer and then perhaps take a call if you waited for this long, wait for another month and see where this entire situation pans out, would that be your recommendation? Uh, oh, absolutely. Not just on the loan front. We are going to see action on the uh, home loan prices front as well. Uh, plus the uh, government's uh, announcement on the credit link subsidy scheme. Uh, I think these two, three things will play out over the next 30, 45 days. Pr home prices are not uh, running, uh, are not going to go up. So I think currently just waiting 30, 45 days definitely I think uh, uh, there is a definite uh, need to do that so that you take a more informed decision. Great speaking with you. Thank you so much for really, you know, bringing about this clarity because at a time when there's just such a clamor for home loan rates, banks, HFCs, each of them trying to lure consumers out there, this was an important clarification to get. Completely run out of time on, on this edition of Markets at Lunch. Uh, take a quick break. Come right back with Riding the Bull. It's a goodbye for now though from Nayantara. <laughs>